One of the questions that we're often asked in the context of marriage is, should I stay in the house with the other party while the divorce is proceeding? I believe that out of all of the questions that can be asked of a lawyer in, in the context of counsel, this is one of the most difficult questions I really believe that can be asked of a lawyer because there's so many moving pieces that have to be considered um, in answering should I stay in the marital residence or not. The first uh, thing that you have to look at is safety. If there is a situation, a dynamic in the home where there is abuse be it physical abuse, sexual abuse, mental abuse, those are personal considerations that are personal to the individual. I would never tell anyone to stay in a marital residence um, if they're being abused in any type of way. Your, your personal security and safety is of great importance to us as a law firm. It should be to any lawyer um, that would be representing you in a family law matter. So if, if, you, if your safety is um, uh, at risk, I would advise you to consider uh, being elsewhere while the divorce proceeds. Let me tell you what that doesn't mean. That doesn't mean that you lose any interest in the house if it's owned or anything. The interest that you've acquired in the house would remain whether you're living in the house or not. There are some times out there where arguments about vacating the marital residence uh, become important, but in a case where there is abuse, uh, that is not an important factor as it would be in other instances. Um, and most of the time, vacating the marital residence becomes an issue prior to divorces being filed if someone has vacated the marital residence for some a period of time. So that's the first thing is your, is your safety. The second thing is that if the marriage involves children, the care of the children, because this is all going to matter as things unfold when it comes down to um, uh, decision-making responsibility, or some states call it custody in Arizona, we call it decision-making responsibility um, as it relates to the, to the children. Where are the children? Are they safe? The two parties can live in the house together while going through the divorce for the sake of the children. Oftentimes this looks good in front of the court because there are certain factors that the court's going to look at when it comes down to parenting time and decision-making responsibility. So the children, are they safe? Is there a lot of bickering going back and forth because the well-being of the children takes um, a priority. Uh, the uh, third area I would certainly uh, advise anyone to look at is um, the financial resources of the parties uh, that based on the standard of living. If you're used to living, into a mini, used to living in a mini mansion in Scottsdale uh, and you're leaving and, and the other party is the sole breadwinner and you have no resources to move, well, you're not used to living in a Motel 6 or an extended state. These are all things that you have to consider. But the financial resources, of course, do not outweigh um, your safety and security. A lot of this is, well, I'd say, should say, I should say some of it can be addressed with uh, temporary orders from the court um, should you have to leave the marital residence and one party is the dominant um, uh, a breadwinner, if you will. The court can issue temporary orders, temporary spousal maintenance, temporary child support to make sure that you have enough resources to provide for yourself should you have to leave uh, uh, the marital residence. But this is something that you would certainly want to uh, talk with your lawyer about. And it's important that your lawyer is not only interested in the legal uh, 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 matters and underpinnings of the court, but they have an understanding and a grasp of life and that this is your life, it's your family, it's your children, this is where you've raised your children, and someone that's empathetic and sympathetic to the entire situation that could counsel you accordingly. And an experienced, compassionate uh, attorney that cares about their clients would do just that. And so uh, if, I would urge you to speak with one of our lawyers or some lawyer that could walk you through that process with a great degree of grace and wisdom, uh, but also representing you as it relates to the law.